Brian's got some rods here to make some pins. But let's talk about this, well, we got a lot, we can talk about a few things. Pilot hoses, so I made all these. Brian took off on me early today. So I made them all, they all plug into here. So this is uh, your other side, your jib. This will be your main boom. And the other one's open close. These, two of these will be your main boom. Two of them will be your rotate, your swing, swing, cab swing. And then this is your tank, that goes back to the tank. This is your PSI. So those hoses are all made. Those two right there are shorter because they go to here, go to a different spot in the valve bank. So, what do these hoses do? So, well, I, I, they got these plates they're supposed to go on, right? The only problem is the plates were wore out nasty and ugly. So look at I repainted them. Put my fingerprint on them. Yep. Now they know who did it. So, repainted those. Those aren't dry, obviously. So I'll wait till the morning to put them in. But this is our other joystick. Brian goes to and marks them all. PSI, up, down, and then the other one's open, closed, open, closed. And then he wires them into here, plums them right into that bad lat. Then that sits on that cover that we just looked at. The cover bolts onto here, and then this sits on top of the cover. Your hoses obviously run out the back. So, kind of how these work. They're pretty, pretty simple. But they run out, and they run underneath the valve bank. I'll show you the one outside. Uh, but these are these are called pilot hoses. Um, they're running 500 psi. Not a lot of psi because it goes in the valve bank, and then it tells the valve bank to open up the bigger line to run your big loader. You know what I mean? So that's what these run. Is your loader? Um, it doesn't um, do your rotate or your grapple. That's in your electronics. Um, but everything else, the swing, your loader, and your open and close of your grapple are all in these two. So that's all I do. They pop out of that hole back there and go underneath the cab. So Brian plums them all up and uh, they look like that. A couple of them are longer. Um, the two PSI and the tank are shorter because they go to a different spot in the valve bank. But they all go to a different spot in the valve bank. So they're all different length. This one's longer on this side because it's further away. Pretty simple. But they don't have major PSI, which is 500. These hoses will last a long time. The other ones had steel lines, and they were all ripped to pieces and busted up. But these will work just great. I mean, they're good for, let's see. Yeah, I think 500 PSI will be just fine. So I uh, crimped all them on. Well, Brian crimped those on. I crimped these on. Um, got lights for the cab. I didn't put those on. Somebody was using the drill, so I got busy doing other stuff. Um, but we got 12 inches to go all the way around. Two on the front, one on each side, one on the back. And then that's going to be bright all around. That'll be real nice. And then we got four smaller ones, single ones. Um, to go on the machine throughout so I'll take you out there and show you what what's going on out there Let's get up here. See if we can take a look figure this out. Look down in the belly of that beast So See it's got these two holes here Some of them will run through that They probably will all go through that um, the Heater lines air conditioning lines, they come out here and then they go in the hole of that cab. There was a hole in the cab on this side, we deleted that. So, there was nothing coming out. So as, these are all your little pilot valves right here. See how he's got them labeled, closed, open. He's got all of them labeled so that when he hooks the other ends up, it's just a simple plug and play. Really nice. Brian wasn't playing around. He marked them all. He was prepared. When you get over here, you got one there. And obviously one there. So, yeah. That's kind of how it works. They plug in, swing green, and then they, this, 
It's got a solenoid that tells it what, what fluid to go through here or go through here. So that's how it works. The little pilot valves. Here's a little something here. A little stuff all over the place, but that's kind of how it works. And then these are your electronics here for like, uh, this one could be for your grapple rotate. Uh, stuff like that. And I'm not sure, I'm not sure which one. The yolks are here or not? No, might not be. So, yeah, that's kind of how it works. Hose is coming here, got the pilots, and there's some stuff there that has to be hooked up. Let me, there you go. And there's some stuff that's got to get hooked up. So once we set the cab on here, uh, the hoses are made, ready to go. It'll be a plug and play. We gotta run electronics yet, but those are in a nice loom. This is gonna be really simple. I mean, literally plug the three of them into the top of that. Once she focuses, um, they run over right into that hole. And then they come out of that hole into here. And I'll probably, I've seen some where they've run them through both of them and then does it like a hard 90 and up. But I think we're just going to try to cut through this one and then go up through there. So that's the swath of hoses going up under the cab. Um, might have a focus for us. Come on. So I'll have swivel fittings in them. We're going to, I might need a new grease hose. Um, we're going to check this out before we put the yoke in here. We're going to want to see how high the yoke goes because you don't want the yoke because this has got a whole other feed wheel that hooks to these pins and has teeth on it that pulls it through. But if it goes up too high, it hits these. And when it hits these, it only takes a few few months of rubbing all day long, hundreds of times a day, thousands upon thousands of times a week, and it'll blow hoses. So might have to pull some up and get her snugged up. But that's what we got going on. Um, the other one has two cylinders that hooked right here, right above our heads. And uh, you have up and obviously it was up and down, just like all the other yokes. But we got the yokes lifted up to put uh, rubber and stuff in to seal everything up nice. Brian's numbers, those are lengths he has. So, but yeah, things are coming along quick. These are your two drive lines for your feed wheel. <coughs> Excuse me. And then it's got another half inch line that's not run yet that um, goes to each cylinder wise off for up and down pressure so that's kind of how that works so we're close but we're not there yet that's kind of how that valve bank works and then you got another valve bank up front um, the valve bank up front controls your oh it'll control your stiff legs up and down from your front and back um, it controls all the spout stuff it controls that. Um, it controls the conveyor fold. If you don't want to do it from here, you can do it from down there. Stuff like that. I mean, it's just excellent. So you have a valve bank back there and one back here. Control different things. But So you have elect electrical wires that run all the way up to that valve bank um, to run those solenoids back and forth. Tell them what you want them to do. But it's coming along quick. And... Uh, Things are looking on the uppity up. New stop blocks in here. But we still have to hook up those two. Yeah. Where do those two go to? Swing. Oh, if this is your swing drain right there, right there. What if they go up? No, because then we're electronics. So then wouldn't be it. I don't know. This is where Brian comes in. His brain has all this in it already. So he knows everything that needs to be done. And I just let him do his thing. And just tell me what to do, Brian, because I don't know. So. Anyways, hopefully you enjoy the pilot, pilot controls. Understand a little bit better if you didn't know. Some people, majority of you probably knew. But a few probably didn't. And uh, we've talked. we got an issue here because these steps are too high and your cylinder will actually hit these. So, well, them got to be cut off. Roll it again. And if that one hits, those probably hit too. So 
a couple things we have to fix we're learning um, but there is a cover that goes over this that's black there's a cover that hooks up to those pins and these pins that is black too that covers all that so none of that's getting messed with while you're chipping as little as possible so a little update on the chipper update on the pilot hoses nothing to do brian left no, i'm just joking last few minutes of the day i figured i'd show you guys what's going on so we need curtain chains yet something we got to get is curtain chains and uh foil chain probably need to go through and just redo the foil chain in here i'll go through personally and adjust it <clears throat> balance it because i can tell you right now that's not balanced so uh, balance is a big thing you gotta figure out which ones to do straighten it all out pull i'll probably pull them all out go through all my lengths and adjust them accordingly so we get her fired up can't wait literally can't wait i mean we're we're getting real close just keep rolling thanks for watching head on over to that chipper get you any hats shirts stuff like that we'll catch you guys later Enjoy.